We began the year still dealing with the disease and finding others who were doing the same. And we fed the hospital, we fed the fire halls, we fed the post office, we fed the police station. But we still discovered people with hopes and dreams in spite of their difficulties. And it's been one amazing journey, uh, Fred, one amazing journey. The journey was pretty amazing for us too. We met J.T. Stallworth, keeping his family's legacy alive. Hillbilly John and the Caver family, keeping the beaches beautiful. We discovered a candy man, another with championship birds on his brain, and had black belt adventures. Just about everybody that comes in locally, we know them by name and we know what they want. I don't want to ever become callous to life because life is emotional. The Huberts showed us their tulips, the University of West Alabama, their biodiversity center. The Settles shared their roses while the state parks shared their beauty. We like to say no matter where you are in Alabama, you've got a state park in your backyard. If your tastes run to tamales, we met the queen. And who doesn't love fresh strawberries? People in Prattville honor the past with their poppy project, and the American Legion remembers our vets. The shares remember the old way of doing things on horseback. At Milo's, they remember how they've always made hamburgers. John Dersham remembers the past through his photographs, and Stone Canyon looks to the future with their tiny homes. We were filled with hope at Hope Afield, and filled up with ice cream at the Yellow Top. You know what we had at Peach Park. James Thomas is still herding sheep in Slocum and stop in sometime at Walter's Gas and Grill. There's history at Fort Rucker and Anniston, weddings to be planned, and friendly greetings all around. Can I come in? No. Roger Lee did welcome us to Lookout Mountain. We learned how to make bottles in Bessemer how to catch wasps in Odenville, and how to restore that old iron skillet. We were properly clothed with Tom Beckby and bullhide denim, heard the story of Storybook Farm, the history of Arab, and had some whimsical fun at the Cat's Pajamas and the Hatter Cafe. We heard the story of one man's mountaintop experience, traveled another special trail, and visited a special place. As long as we have a breath, we will never let that die, never forget. So we hope you'll remember to join us next year for more Absolutely Alabama adventures. Happy holidays.